The New York Knicks get back in the win column. They make it two wins in a row, back-to-back wins against the Brooklyn Nets. This time, though, it was a good game, and they took care of what they need to do. And they had a lead in the fourth quarter, and they closed the door. From process to results, everything was good for the New York Knicks, in my opinion. Uh, You look at the overall numbers. I thought they moved the ball really well. I liked the way that there was just an unselfish brand of basketball for the New York Knicks. I think I saw a stat. They already have half as many 30 assist games as they did last year already this year. This is a team that is starting to gel on the offensive end. This is a team that's starting to figure out where guys need the ball to be successful. And they're finding a way to get it done and continue to grow defensively. They need to improve still, but man, this offense is starting to come together. And it's hard for me not to say that Carl Anthony Towns is the best big man in the East. I think he's the best scoring big man in the NBA. The variety of different shots he has. There's not a spot on the floor that he can't get a quality look from. Whether it's a pull-up three. Whether it's a transition trailing three. Whether it's a rip through, one dribble, one two layup. Whether it's a dotted line push shot. Whether he's working to the basket. Left hand, right hand. We are truly witnessing one of the more skilled offensive big men in recent NBA history. 26 points, 15 rebounds. And the passing is something that I'm falling in love with, man. And he's looking to pass. And, he, and he's excited about making passes. He's throwing stuff like that behind his head. He's celebrating about it. It's been great to see the growth of Carl Anthony Towns. And he continues to find a way to get better and better. It's great news, though, that the New York Knicks are consistently winning games when Jalen Brunson does not play well. There were many times last year that the New York Knicks were able to win games by double digits when Jalen Brunson shot 21% from the floor. But you found a way to win. And campaign has given you valuable, impactful, meaning, meaningful minutes when he's come in for Brunson. I mean, when we saw the other night when the Knicks went on that 17-0 run, it was with campaign leading the charge. This guy doesn't see a shot he doesn't like. He doesn't see a pass that he does like. He's going to jack it up. Doesn't matter where he is, but he had six more dimes tonight. He gets into the lane. He touches the paint. He causes havoc for a defense. They go into rotational mode. They go into scramble mode. Campaign has been everything we could have hoped for since he became a member of the Knicks this offseason. OG and Obi, my man, you continue to be the biggest margin mover in the NBA, in my opinion. I think when it comes to impact, when it comes to dictating the score and changing the outcome of games that aren't necessarily reflected in the box score, OG does it just as good, if not better, than anybody. 24 more points for him. Eight rebounds. Three of seven from downtown. He had a couple of games in a row where he wasn't able to find the distance. He did that tonight. And I thought he did a hell of a job on Cam Thomas. Thomas lit up the Knicks in their last game. And Obi drew that assignment and said, nah, that ain't happening tonight. And Josh Hart. Gotta have heart. Josh Hart, man. Every game, he just stuffs the stat sheet. Um, I don't want to always be the loser guy that finds something to cry about, but it's also my job to analyze these games. And if I had one bone to pick for the New York Knicks, it would be, I don't love Josh Hart playing 46 minutes. Mikhail Bridges playing 44 minutes and OG and Obi playing 40 minutes in a game. That was never really a game in that fourth quarter. Hart though, um, the willingness to shoot the three has elevated this offense His ability to make the three is going to continue to elevate this offense. 28-8. Josh Hart is, uh, he's that guy. Happy he's a Nick. Good game for Mikhail Bridges. Um, Still struggling to find the range from downtown. Still struggling to make threes outside of the corner. But he is almost automatic in that mid-range. Three of ten from three. He was six of eight. If my math is correct. Six of eight inside the arc. And one of them was a little bunny from inside the paint. Coming into tonight, Mikhail Bridges on shots eight of 16 feet from the basket is 28 of 45. And then shot 16 
of 24 feet outside the basket. He was four of seven. So he's 32 of 52 on mid-range buckets this year. That is an unreal percentage. His ability to catch it on the weak side, face up, pump fake, one dribble, two dribble, and just rise up and knock it down adds another dimension to this offense. I still want the defense to improve a little bit. I still want that number to be closer to 40% than 30%. But overall, after a shaky first 11 games, Mikael Bridges has been really good in back-to-back games against the Brooklyn Nets. We got to talk about Ariel Huck Porty, and we got to talk about Jericho Sims because I do not understand. I do understand. I'll tell you why, though. Tom Thibodeau needs to make the change. But first, I got to give a major shout-out to our proud sports book partner, DraftKings. Use that promo code NixChat. Bet $5. Get $200 in instant bonus bets. The Emirates NBA Cup is here. You can win big getting in on the action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. All 30 teams split into six groups every Tuesday and Friday playing for the right to advance in the single elimination in-season tourney, culminating in the NBA Cup Championship in Vegas. First time, here's something special just for you. New DraftKings customers bet $5 to get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Score big with DraftKings Sportsbook. Every point counts. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code NixChat. That's code NixChat for new customers to get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just 5 bucks only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort Kansas, 21 plus age and eligibility varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. For additional terms and responsible gaming resources, see dkng.co slash bball. Shout out to DraftKings, our proud sportsbook partner, Smitty Sam Game Parlay. Had a little bit of success tonight against the Brooklyn Nets. Knicks minus 10. You see the final score. They won by 10. That's a push. What does that do? It takes my that pick out of the parlay and just parlays the last two picks, which both hit. Carl Anthony Towns exceeded 40 points, rebounds, and assists, and Dorian Finney-Smith got way over eight points. Plus 178, 20 for 35. Free cheddar. Follow Smitty Same Game Parlay when we do these next live streams, or don't. Just do it at DraftKings and use that promo code next chat. Smitty putting some money in the pockets of the people. What a guy. What a guy. No run tonight for Ariel Huck Porty. It was Jericho Sims who got the run as the backup center for the New York Knicks tonight. And honestly, I thought that Sims played good defense. Um, I still think that it should be Ariel Huck Porty playing over Jericho Sims. I think he just brings you more juice. I think he brings you more size. I think he brings you more athletic ability. He's an offensive threat to score the basketball. I think he blocks shots better. He play makes better. And he also rebounds the ball better. But he's also a rookie. And we know how Tom Thibodeau does with rookies. Reminds me of the Alfred Payton and Emmanuel Quickly saga all over again. I will say, though, Jericho Sims, man, what he lacks in skill and what he lacks in talent, he makes up for with effort. And he can move his feet. And he can go up and affect shots. And he can find a way to be someone that can contribute in a winning way, I just think that there are better options on this team. I thought he played well. I just really, really want to see Ariel Huck Porty be that backup big for the Knicks. I just think that he just gives you a lot more, a lot more in Jericho. Appreciate Jericho. Um, I, I, I don't need to beat a dead horse. What I love from the Knicks tonight was their playmaking ability. Uh, 33 assists. On 43 shots made, and he out-rebounded the Brooklyn Nets as well, as you should when the Brooklyn Nets don't have a starting center in the game. Didn't shoot all that well from three. Not the biggest deal in the world, but you found a way to win. Brunson, 0-5 from three. Bridges, 3-10. Towns, 1-3. Dottie, 0-1. that will continue to grow, but 40 attempts is around where I want to see the Knicks attempting on a nightly basis. 
You got to improve your perimeter defense, though, man. I know the Nets like to jack up shots, and the next Nets like to be able to get up shots in a flurry. But, man, you can't allow teams to shoot 41% on 41 attempts. Crazy stat. 31 assists for Brooklyn on 32 made shots. That's crazy. And they lost. Um, but, yeah, I want the perimeter defense to improve. Tough to ask, though, when – your wings combined for 65 points, 22 rebounds, and nine assists, which is OG Josh Hart and Mikhail Bridges. My question to you is this. Who should play as the Knicks backup big? Who should be the backup big man for the New York Knicks? Type J for Jericho Sims. Type A for Ariel Huck Porty. I want to hear from all of you in the chat. Macomb Dottier gave you nine minutes tonight. Did not score. Had one rebound and one assist. I thought he moved his feet well on the defensive end, and we just need some guy to eat. We need someone to eat minutes off the wing right now. You can't have Ananobi, OG, and Hart all playing above 40 minutes. So, Dottier got yanked in the fourth quarter when he didn't box out, and it resulted in an offensive rebound and a kickout three for Brooklyn. That's going to make Tom Thibodeau not want to play you. Need him to continue to play and be impactful because, man, it's November. I don't need my three starting wings playing above 40 minutes, especially in a game you win by 10. So hopefully Dottier can continue to grow up, continue to do what Tibbs wants him to do, just so he can eat up some minutes. That's what the Knicks just need. Someone off the bench that plays the wing spot to eat up minutes, especially if Deuce McBride is going to be out any longer. Ryan Ert, Deuce did not play. Supposedly is sick. You play again on Monday night against the Wizards. It'll be a back-to-back. -back. It'll be your second back-to-back -back in less than a week. It'll be interesting to see the minute distribution. And with Cat kind of laboring due to a looks like he was beat up a little bit in this game. We'll see if he gets an extended run tomorrow. Make sure you are subscribed and you do join us on Monday night as we're going to be live. So hit us up, subscribe, and follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram at Marshall Green underscore. Hit me up over there and let's go Knicks.